Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Before getting into this video, I just want to give a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Magic Spoon Cereal. This new flavor, sugar cookie, might just be their best flavor yet. I've been eating Magic Spoon for several years now. So even before partnering up with Magic Spoon, I was looking around for cereal that wasn't completely made out of sugar, that still tasted good. And I found this. Magic Spoon cereals has zero grams of sugar, while the Honey Nut version has one gram of sugar. 13 to 14 grams of protein. There's four to five net grams of carbs and only 140 calories per serving. There's also Magic Spoon cereal bars with one gram of sugar, 10 grams of protein, four grams of net carbs, and only 130 calories per bar. They're also grain-free, gluten-free, soy-free, and keto-friendly. And there's so many flavors to choose from. New flavors all the time, like this sugar cookie. There's also cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter. So if you want to give this a try, go to my link down below. Use my promo code Mikey Chan. You'll get $5 off your own variety pack that you can build. And what I love about Magic Spoon is they're backed by 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like this for whatever reason, Get your money back. So click on the link, use my promo code Mikey Chen for $5 off, or go to magicspoon.com slash Mikey Chen to save $5 off your order today. Also, if you're in Canada or the UK, Magic Spoon now ships there too. All right, I'm gonna finish breakfast and uh, enjoy the video. Hey guys, Mike Chen here in Tokyo. First time I've ever had sushi was here in Tokyo. And now I've been eating quite a bit more of it. I thought I'd go for a more sophisticated sushi experience. So going for my first omakase in Japan at a Michelin star sushi restaurant. This is really exciting. So I am at Sushi Shin. And this place is such an intimate little restaurant. One Michelin star. They used to have a couple places in New York uh, with the Michelin star as well. And today, sushi is being prepared by Chef Shinji. I'm literally about half a feet away from the preparation, from the food, watching the chef at work. It's such an intimate and amazing experience. And look at this. Chopsticks. So beautiful. First dish, giant Hokkaido oyster. Fresh umi wasabi yuzu. Mmm. There are so many flavors in that. It's citrusy, uni, of course, creamy and sweet. That little brininess from the caviar and the wasabi just balances everything out. And you're left at the end with a fresh yuzu taste in your mouth. Next up, a sweet shrimp. Just ridiculously buttery and sweet with a touch of wasabi. Mm. This dish is so beautiful. The smell just hit me right away. Fresh octopus from Hokkaido. I think a little olive oil, fresh truffles. Oh my gosh. Incredible. Mm. The octopus is so tender. 
juicy little tomato and the truffle just does what a good truffle does it has that amazing earthy aroma and a splash of lemon juice absolutely perfect Next up, surf claims cooked very shortly over low heat with a little chichimi splashed on top, served in a shell. Mm. Everything is just perfect. This is just optimal tenderness and snappy, sweet, a little briny, a little spicy. That's delicious. Two types of tuna, akami and toro. One extremely lean, and one fatty as can be. Looks like eating the porterhouse of the sea, both ridiculously tender. with sushi rice that is combined with some black vinegar I've never seen that before and some citrus on top mm. wow the rice not only has the vinegar element but also additional umami element to it as well flounder absolutely spectacularly tender little sea salt highlights a tiny bit of brininess and sweetness that sushi rice is genius Horse macro. Mm. Macro a little fatty. The rice just instantly dissolves. The rate of fish to rice is amazing. This is gonna be amazing. That's just too sweet. Sweetest bite of sushi you'll have anywhere. Not like the sweet with a burst of umami. Amazing. This is a golden eye snapper. A 
flavor of the fat just exudes flavor as you chew. From the wasabi, the rice, ratio of everything, absolutely perfect. And I can tell the pizzas are getting fattier and fattier. Yellow tail from Hokkaido. Fattiness just lingers on your tongue. I just can't help but smile after every single bite of that. So far, this has been one of the best, if not the best, sushi experience I've had. Now it's getting super interesting. Chutoro, medium fatty tuna. Look at the rice and fish ratio on this thing. Beautiful. With every single bite, my heart is just pounding more and more as I'm getting to the fattiest beef. Marinated tuna. It's one of the most tender pieces of tuna I've had so far. Beautiful umami from the soy sauce and a nice crunch from the nori wrap. I think things are about to heat up right now. Uni crow all over that marinated rice. Mm. It's too good. The popping yakura with the burst of umami. With that little added creaminess of the uni as well. It's just incredible. Japanese small barracuda seared directly with wooden charcoal. The smokiness of the charcoal like transfer its flavor to the barracuda. And the barracuda is so tender, pure awesomeness. It's in that bite. The sea perch, where the skin part is seared by the wooden charcoal again, with some chili peppers, yuzu. Mm. Spicy, creamy, melt in your mouth fish with that added much smokiness from the charcoal. Cultorial's next, it's getting the wooden charcoal sear treatment. Hearing and smelling the fat sizzle from the charcoal is enough to just make your taste buds go on overdrive. I really don't think there's anything better than that. In terms of one solid bite of food, I don't think so. But Wagyu is next.
I predict this is going to be the most incredible epic bite of the night. A5 Wagyu Hokkaido Uni Truffle. It's kissed by that wooden charcoal on one side, flame torched on the other side. And the chef is saying, eat this in one bite gladly. That might be one of the greatest bites I've ever had at a sushi place. The melty wagyu with the umami filled rice. The wagyu is so smoky and sears so nicely by the charcoal and the blowtorch. The uni provides a little sweetness and brightness and the truffle just brought it all home with that delicious aroma. All wrapped in a crispy nori that brings in more flavors of the ocean. That was one of the most wonderful surf and turf bites. Sushi journey is almost at an end. One more dish, Japanese squid. Last piece is squid with sudachi, which is a Japanese citrus. Mm. Squid is sweet, chewy, same time very tender. It's citrusy, kind of as a palate cleanser as well. That's a perfect last bite to this amazing sushi journey. Never had a sushi experience like this before. It's so intimate, so welcoming. Chef Shinji is amazing. After the sushi, the red bean miso soup. So rustic and nice. Definitely can taste that fermented bean flavor. Oh, everything in this place is delicious, including this. Chef Shinji, thanks so much for a wonderful experience. Hi, Thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. No, I love it when food is not just fulfilling, it's an experience, and that was definitely an experience. Chef Shinji, so welcoming, so nice, so skilled. I've been to a lot of sushi places here in Tokyo, but I will highly, highly recommend coming over here and very much deservant of the Michelin star. As always, information for this place is listed down below for you guys. And a big thank you to my friend Grav over at uh, Hachigo District for recommending this place to me. They make some amazing videos about Japan. I'll put their link down below as well. And thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.